that's nice. Hi, this is Janet from Manhattan Edit Workshop, and today I want to show you how to make a trimmed version of your project in Premiere Pro. Let's say you have a huge project, lots of different files, really big, and I want to trim that project down to consist of just a sequence or a couple of sequences and the sequences related media. So as an example, I have a very simple project here to illustrate this. It just really consists of a couple of sequences. If I option click here, you see I have three sequences along with the corresponding clips and media that are used in that sequence. I can see here though that I'm actually not using these two clips. I can tell that by the white uh, color of the little audio waveform here. These orange icons, the orange clips are telling me that these clips are being used in my sequences. So again, what I'd like to do is to create a trimmed version of this project. Perhaps I need to archive it or I just need to hand it off to somebody with just the clips that are being used in the sequence I'm working on. So I can use a very simple technique for this by going to the file menu and choosing project manager. Here I can see the sequences that are currently in my project. Let's say in this example, I only want to hand off the medieval final sequence. Well, I have a choice here. I can either include all of the files that are being used for the medieval final sequence. That will be the full length clips. Or I could say, you know what, just give me the trimmed version of those clips. So it'll give me new clips, new media, and a new project that contains just what's being used in the medieval final sequence. I can add handle if I choose. Right now this is set to 24 frames, one second. But of course I can, inc I can make that more or less depending on my needs. Project destination, where is this going to go? Uh, currently I'm just going to put this into a file on my desktop, but obviously you can choose to put it wherever you like. And then this is really nice, it calculates how much space I'm going to need so I can check ahead of time if I have enough space on my drive. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to say, okay, it's going to create a new project, new clips, new media, and store them in a separate project. If I want to see what that looks like on my desktop, let's take a look. You can see it actually creates in my consolidated projects folder, a new folder called trimmed. And in the trimmed folder is the new project along with the corresponding media and clips that is just what's being used in the sequence along with the handle that I choose. So that is very useful just to create a trim down version of your, of your project containing just the media and clips of specific sequences. This is Janet from Manhattan Edit Workshop. Thanks for listening.